welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle. For those of you who don't know me, hi, welcome. I am so glad you stopped by today. Today I'm going to be talking about makeup habits that I either want to work on in general or just stop doing all together. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I do have my list because I write them down. People, I just, I have to have a notebook. I've tried putting it on my tablet and I just don't, I don't like it. I don't know why, I just don't. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm super excited. So the first one is not leaving my makeup out everywhere. So I'm looking around kind of my beauty craft room area and the table over here is covered in makeup my table here right in front of me is covered in makeup i have makeup out on the um coffee table in my living room i just i have a problem with putting my makeup away and i really need to work on it because it just becomes a cluttered mess and it is just a disaster because i leave it everywhere so we're gonna work on that for sure. I I do plan on updating you guys at the end of the month if I was able to actually achieve any of these. Giving myself a month. I mean, it might take longer for some of these to actually kick in, but we're going to attempt it. I thought I should put that out there. So I'm going to work on putting my makeup away after I'm done using it, only getting out what I'm going to use. Things like that, because I am just a mess. Number two is cleaning my beauty sponges more often. I am so good at cleaning my makeup brushes at least once a week that when I look at my beauty sponges, I am just disgusted at the state they're in. I just don't want to clean them. They take longer for me to clean than the brushes do. I let them soak. I wring them out. I let them soak again. I do all kinds of different things to get them clean. And it just takes me a lot longer than running all of my brushes through um, the solution stuff that I use. So I just really need to work on that because it becomes to where I'm cleaning them maybe twice a month. And really, I should be cleaning them probably more often than my makeup brushes. And I really need to work on that. So that is something I'm going to really try and strive for is having clean beauty sponges. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Number three, to not impulse buy bullet lipsticks. You guys know that I am working on all year not purchasing lipsticks at all, but I have a problem and I can't seem to avoid bullet lipsticks. Like the other day I had to stop myself. I was in Walmart, me and Walmart, Walmart's dangerous. I was also on my no buy and I actually did a good job of not buying anything. So kudos to me. But I did have a bullet lipstick in my hand and I had to physically tell myself, you don't need that. You don't wear bullet lipsticks. You have a couple bullet lipsticks maybe in your collection that you actually reach for occasionally. But other than that, you don't really wear them. So I had to be real with myself. It wasn't easy. I don't like reprimanding myself. I don't like telling myself I can't buy anything. I did it though. So that was good. But that is something I really need to curb myself of because I don't wear them and I constantly buy them and I just, I don't know what's wrong with me at all. So there's that. Number four, to not give into the hype of new products. I'm really working hard on researching and thinking about the products that I put in my collection. So with that, I have to realize that when people are so excited about a new product, that maybe I should do my own research, watch more reviews, actually weigh the pros and cons of putting it in my collection and how it would actually fit into my collection. So I'm really going to kind of focus on that this month and just really look at those new releases and look at them critically and really go, is this going to fit in my collection? Because I'm no longer on my no buy. So I am able to buy some makeup, but I really want it to be a good fit in my collection and to really look at it critically. So that is a goal of mine for this month. Number five, to figure out how to make loose powder not get all over me. It does not matter what I do. I have tried so many different things with loose powder and I will get it all the way down the front of my shirt every single time. So if you have any tips on not being a complete slob with loose powder, please leave those down below because I need help. I have a problem. <laughs> Number six, to not open every mascara I own at the same time. 
I have seven mascaras open right now and I think only like three that are unopened. I don't know what my problem is. I don't know why I feel I need to use them all. And mind you, these are mascaras that have been in my collection for a little bit and some of them I didn't open and then I suddenly was like, oh, I can't find my mascara. I'm going to open this one. And then I open it and I find the mascara I was looking for. I can't use that ma many mascaras up. Like, I have to be real with myself. It's a problem. So, we're just going to work on that and not opening a gazillion mascaras. <laughs> Number seven, stop buying backups. Wait until I am out of a product before I buy a backup. Hence the seven mascaras. Like, I don't know why. I just feel, I'm like, oh, I need a backup for this. Oh, you know, I should buy like three of these. I don't know what's wrong with me. I was looking through my collection. I was like, why do I have four of the same mascara? Maybelline Great Lash. I have four. I don't need any more. <laughs> I need to use it up. I was just like, how did this even happen? Where did this come from? I just find makeup in places that I didn't realize I put makeup. Yeah. We're going to work on that one for sure. Number eight, stop holding on to really old products. I have this problem. I will hold on to things even though they're expired and they're just bad and they smell horrible. I'll just be like, no, I'm going to keep it. I don't want to throw it away. Especially if I really like the product, I get attached. So basically with that, I'm working on some attachment issues I have with makeup. I'll talk more about that in a different video. Number nine, knowing when to call it quits with a product. So I'm a, I'm the type of person who will try a product over and over again to really see how it works, to really get to know that product, to really make sure that I like the product. But then on the same side, if it's not working for me, I'm going to try it a gajillion more times because I'm going to make it work for me. Like I'm determined to make certain things work for me that are probably never going to work for me. And sometimes I just need to know, okay, Danielle, you're done. This isn't working for you. You need to pass it along to somebody who it's going to work for. Stop it. That's the problem I have. And the final one, number 10, leaving 15 lipsticks in my purse. I only need one. I'm only wearing one. I don't know what my problem is. Like I will go, oh, I'm wearing this one today, but I should put these other ones in there. Or I do that a, a few times, and then I have like 9,000 lipsticks in my collection. I'm a lipstick hoarder. I have problems. Legit problems. So these are just some things that I really want to work on in terms of makeup habits. What are some of your makeup habits that you want to work on? Are some of them as ridiculous as mine, or are they more serious makeup habits that you have in terms of what you're looking to add to your collection? or get out of your collection. Let me know down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It always means the world to me to have so many people watch, comment, and like. I love interacting with you guys. And thank you to all of my subscribers, new and old. You guys are amazing, and you make me want to continue filming these videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and I hope you have a wonderful day, night, wherever you are, and bye!